Happy Sunday afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Let's talk about what's happening in the tropics and what you can expect as we are gearing up to go into a new work week. I'm sure you're wondering if anything from the tropics will head our way. Well, at this point, it looks like the answer is no for at least the next week. But there are some systems out there that we are monitoring. So even though they may not be heading to southeast Texas, I do want to update you on what's going on and where we could potentially have some tropical cyclones developing. Let's start off in the Atlantic and for the last week or so it's been pretty quiet for much of the Atlantic. We haven't had any action out here really, but we now have one area in the central Atlantic that we're monitoring. Notice in this yellow circle, there's not really a lot going on, but the models are indicating that a non tropical area of low pressure could develop over the next few days. 0% shot it would become a depression or a storm over the next 48 hours, but over the next seven days, there's a 30% chance that it could slowly develop into maybe a subtropical cyclone as we go through the week. It is a couple hundred miles off to the east of Bermuda, so at this point, nothing that is going to quickly develop into a tropical storm or a hurricane, but of course it is an area that we are at least monitoring in the Atlantic. Let's hop over to the Eastern Pacific, and this is where all of the action has been lately, really. We have not one, but two systems that could turn into tropical depressions or tropical storms. One in the red here, this is south of the southern Mexican coast, has a high chance for development, at least over the next seven days, 80% shot that it could develop into a depression or a storm. You can see the area of showers and storms where that red X is located, kind of drifting to the west. So still fairly disorganized now, but over the next week it could get act together and we could have a tropical storm there. So we will monitor that closely. Our other area of concern in the eastern Pacific still has a 60% shot for development over the next 48 hours and over the next seven days. It's a fairly small system and that chance for development has gone down from 90%. So not quite as impressive as it was was over the last couple of days, but still we're going to monitor it. it still has a chance to become a tropical depression or a tropical storm, but it is also moving away from Mexico off to the west northwest and away from the US. As far as the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean are concerned, things are quiet now. We do have some of that Saharan dust starting to push into parts of the Caribbean and the Gulf, and we have a lot of that dust out across a big chunk of the Atlantic. So for now, I think that will kind of aid in hindering a ton of development because that pulls that drier air into the upper levels of the atmosphere and it makes these systems work a little harder to develop. So we'll have to monitor the dust potential over the next week or so. But once we start to get rid of some of that dust, I think we will really start to see these systems ramp up across the Atlantic because we've got such warm waters out there, unusually warm waters for the Atlantic at this point, four to six degrees above the norm for many spots in the Atlantic. You can see, you can see those temperatures well into the 80s. And this yellow area here shows where we do have the sea surface temperatures averaging around four to six degrees above normal. So usually warm, steamy water like that means rapid development when these systems start to get going. So that is the main reason why the Colorado State University forecasters just a couple days ago increased the number of named storms, hurricanes and major hurricanes for the remaining of this hurricane season up to 18 named storms, nine hurricanes and four major hurricanes. And that was the main reason, as I mentioned, the sea surface temps in the tropical Atlantic are close to record warm levels. And then we're also not expecting a really strong El Nino pattern to develop. El Nino is still expected, which usually means a lower number of storms, but it's not expect it to be super strong. So that may help to increase that number of tropical cyclones as well. So for now, we're going for an above normal remainder of the season with the hurricanes, tropical storms, major hurricanes. So that's not good news, but it's something we'll be watching closely. We've already had three named systems so far this season out in the Atlantic Basin, Arlene, Brett, and Cindy. And if we do get that system in the Atlantic to develop at least into a tropical storm or subtropical storm, the next name would be Dawn on the list. But hopefully things will stay quiet for as long as possible because we've still got the most active portion of hurricane season to get through, and that is usually August and September. And that's usually about when two thirds of our tropical systems develop develop. So even though it's quiet now, we've still got a ways to go. So don't let your guard down. And now is the perfect time to review your hurricane safety plan, evacuation plan, your insurance plan, all of that stuff while things are quiet. That way, when a storm 
starts to potentially head our way. You don't have to try to scramble and review all of that stuff. You'll know exactly what you need to do, you know, where you need to go, and you can do it in a nice, calm manner. So definitely review those things if you can while it's quiet. And also grab our Fox 26 weather app. You can get the latest tropical weather, forecast cones, any alerts for any tropical watches, warnings for tropical storms or hurricanes. And of course, you can get the latest on the big heat wave that will be impacting the area for much of this week. That's the latest happening in the tropics. We've got that one potential system in the Atlantic, two possible systems in the Eastern Pacific, but all is quiet for now in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have fun and stay safe out there.